just in 10 minutes we are going to discuss about creating a dynamic role to enforce role level security using dax if you are yet to subscribe this channel please do subscribe we have a table of policies that also contains information on the region code and state code we also have a table of users with region and state code values most of the regions have multiple states users should be permitted to view the policy number and claim amount based on their region code and state code we need to create a role to satisfy the above condition and should implement role level security we are going to use the values function when the input parameter is a column name the values function will return a one column table that contains the distinct values from the specified column this function is not supported for use in direct query mode when used in calculated columns or row level security rules this demo is assuming that you have a model with storage mode as import so i prefer to use the values function to create a dynamic role to be used for row level security i'll be adding a filter condition for the values function using the calculate table function about which i'll be giving a demo shortly both the calculate and calculate table functions will modify the filter context probably you are aware of that calculate will return a scalar value while calculate table will return a table i'll be also using the user principal name function that can capture the login id of a person in cloud or will show the current user in the desktop assume that abc at xyz.com is the current user then a filter condition like this user data user equals user principal name will filter the table that you see in the screen for a value equals abc at xyz.com we are also going to create two variables one of them will be identifying the region code and the second one will identify the state code and we are going to use the in function along with the and function both of them are logical functions to combine the region code and state code for the current user and then based upon those values we are going to filter the policy table ultimately a given user who is permitted to see a specific region code a specific state code will see only those data the final table filter dax expression will be something similar and let us dive into action now so that you can understand the concept what you see in the screen is an excel table named as asia the same is loaded into my model i have the asia table here and when i look at the country column i am able to see that there are 27 distinct values even though we do have 14456 rows of data as informed earlier i am going to use this asia table to explain the concept of using values functions which is a table function that will be returning a table i am going to click on home tab click on new table would like to call a new table as a country table and then i'm going to use a function called values in which i would like to get the data from asia tables country column the moment i am going to hit enter you will be able to see the formation of one particular table called country table which contains only one column called country and that contains exactly 27 rows which means the distinct values from Asia tables a country column were brought in as a new table through the function called values i am now going to improve the formula by which this table was created in such a way that i will be able to apply a filter on the asia table for example i am going to start with the calculate table the values function is going to remain as it is and then i am going to apply a comma value so that i can apply a filter the filter i want to apply is on the profit column wherein i wanted to find out how many countries are there where the profit is greater than 1.6 million and i could see that all the 27 countries are still reported maybe i can make a small change here how many countries are there where the profit is greater than 1.7 million now i can see that only 17 rows are written which means that the calculate table function has changed the filter context on the values function so that this table is now talking about only specific rows where a filter has been applied with that introduction about values function and calculate table functions 
Let me now show you another table called the policy data in which we have the region code as one of the columns, state code as one of the columns. We do have another table called the user data in which also we do have the same region code and the state code columns. And these two tables were already loaded into my model. You can see the policy data table is sitting here and then the user data is also available here. Using these two tables, I have already created a simple report in which the user table is populated. The policy table is populated and I have used a function called user principal name to identify the current user. Our requirement is very simple. If abc at xyz.com is going to log into the system, he must be permitted to see the region code called 100, state code called 10, which means that there are two entries available for him to be viewed. Similar is the case for rest of the users. For which we are going to create a role by clicking the modeling tab, manage roles. Then I am going to click on create. Since this is going to be based upon the user principal name, I want to call this as UPN test. And that should be applied on my policy data table in which I am going to type a DAX function. I am declaring my first variable called my region, which will be using the calculate table function and the values function to get the region code column from the user data table that will be filtered based upon the current user because I am using the user equals user principal name function. I need to create a similar variable for the state code for which I am going to copy and make changes in the first variable. The second variable will be called as my state and that should bring me a simple one column table from the state code. After declaring these two variables, I can return them and then this is where we are going to get the actual results. Let me type the DAX function. The last line of the code is trying to identify the value in a variable called my region and that should be filtered for the policy data's region code table and then we'll try to identify the value for a variable called my state and then that will be applied on the state code column of the policy data. Then I'm going to click on save to save this particular DAX expression. If I'm going to click on option called the view as other user UPN test and then if I'm going to type abc at xyz.com click OK. Now you will be able to see that the user called abc at xyz.com has logged in and he is permitted to see the data for region code equals 100 applicable here, state code equal to 10 available here. If I'm going to make a change in terms of mno at xyz.com he must be able to see the data for only one state code called 30. Let us quickly check that. I'm going to change this to MNO. Click OK. Now you can see that MNO is permitted to see 101 and 30 combination. It is happening. Had it been MNT, click OK. Now you can see that this user is permitted to see the data for region code equals 101. Correct. And then a state code equal to 40. Correct. And that is how this DAX function is working. Before we complete, you may have other requirements. For example, if there is a super user who is permitted to see values for all state codes for a given region code, how that can be implemented? Assume that the current user is pqr at xyz.com and if he is a super user, as per the diagram you can see in the screen, he should be permitted to see the data for state code equals to 10 as well as state code equals to 20. Similarly, there is another boss user who should be permitted to see values for all the regions and all the states when he logs in. How to implement this kind of a requirement? You have just watched the JTM8 video. Hope you got a clear idea on using DAX functions to create basic roles to enforce role level security. To create a modified expression to allow the super user scenarios that we have discussed in the previous slide, please watch the next video JTM9. Thanks for watching this video. See you in the next video.